Hey guys, welcome back to the Glory Living channel. My name's Hannah. We are so glad that you are back with us here today. Um, we're gonna be doing something pretty fun. We're gonna be harvesting potatoes. So this is our first year ever harvesting potatoes, ever trying to plant them. And so we have been pretty excited about the whole process really and being able to eat them most of all. So yeah, we're gonna show you what we did two weeks before we actually harvested the potatoes um, and as some prep work. And then we're gonna jump into harvest day, show you what we did, show you how much we got. And um, yeah, anyways, we hope this video is enjoyable to you and let's go check it out. Hey guys, so um, we are in the potato patch as you can see, and honestly, it is quite a mess. So we um, had our potato plants growing so big and so strong that they totally tipped over. If you can see them in the mess of the weeds, if your eyes can spot the potato leaves versus the weeds, um, what you'll also see is some browning starting to occur. On this particular plant, it is I mean, these leaves, look at those ones that are dead. Um, it was seeming like it was starting to die off. Um, when I first noticed that, and it seemed like it was kind of alone in that process, um, you know, it, it stood out to me when I saw it dying off. But when I went in there, I wasn't sure whether it was starting to die off or whether there were other issues going on. On other plants, it looks a lot different. When we come down the row, like right here, we see a beautiful, lush, green potato plant doing awesome. There are other plants in other rows that are a mix of speckles, blotches, browning. Looking at them, I just wasn't sure exactly whether this was just, you know, going down the natural process of dying off or whether we had encountered some type of blight. And I was worried about that because they were laying on the ground and it wouldn't have been a surprise to find them um, with a blight. But anyways, it's an easy solution no matter what. This was day 99. They are mature between day 80 and day 100. And so we were absolutely safe to cut down these plants and get mature potatoes. So what you see me doing here is pruning these potato plants down from the stem right to the ground and removing them. I did not compost them. I threw them in the trash just in case they did have blight. And this is really simple. So you just remove the plant. And we had seen some tips from some people over in England that did this, that were encountering blight in case it was blight, that you do this and you just leave the potatoes in the ground a few more weeks and um, then you can dig them up. And so we just decided to do that. It wasn't going to hurt the potatoes. And um, just in case it was blight, it was rather, you know, be safe than sorry and lose our potatoes. Hey guys, so we are back after two weeks, okay? The potatoes have stayed in the ground. Um, you know, we had to cut those down in case they were blight. We didn't want to lose our potato harvest. And this was the recommended way from um, people that I saw who are in England who deal with blight a lot because of the um, type of weather that they have over there. In Tennessee, we have a very humid, um, just weather climate. It's laying all over the ground. It's like potatoes or tomatoes, they're gonna get blight. It's, it's pretty much inevitable, especially in a, like a wet, moist climate like this one. So we're gonna dig up these potatoes today. It's been two weeks. I don't want them to rot. I don't want the bugs to get them. I, I want to see what we've gotten. I'm trying to keep my expectations low. We've never grown potatoes. Um, we did a half in straw and in the ground as well, which is very um, a, a clay-like clay soil. So we're gonna see what we get. I hope we get something, not just for the sake of you all to see it, but really because we were very excited about this crop and we're hoping that we get some. It's the first year we've ever done potatoes. We're gonna see, we won't do it quite this way again, but um, it's fun to experiment and it's fun to see what you get. So let's go see what turns up. Oh, I think it's important to note, I am using a, huh, you know, it doesn't seem totally like a potato fork. It seems more like a pitchfork to me, but this is what we'll be using today, which should hopefully just make the job a little bit easier. Okay guys, so I got nervous. The first one I pulled out of the ground was this one. I thought, oh, that's sad. And then the second one, was this one and I thought oh that's really not good but then we got this one so here we go it's a good start it's not all the way done just kind of starting to scratch up the surface what I feared is that 
I'm gonna have to lift up this weed fabric that we had to really dig in and get under there. Um, I was ignorant of growing potatoes. That's okay. This fabric can come up. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to work. This is what we've got so far. Not so far, we got a lot more in the box, but these are good. This is looking good, I'm happy. And we're only on the top layer. I gotta get this tarp up, see what's underneath. I bet there's gonna be a lot more gems. It's pretty stinking exciting when you lift up the tarp and you can see where your potato plants were planted. So here we go. We'll take our pitchfork in here just to make sure. Some of these are little, some of these are medium. Wow, actually this is a good pile. This is great. So, oh wow, that's so exciting. The Lord is, he's just so merciful. You plant one half rotted potato in the ground and this is what he gives you, he multiplies it. So, man, gardening will keep you humble and remind you of your reliance upon the Lord and his mercy. back at the house. The camera ended up dying yesterday while I was harvesting the potatoes, but we ended up getting, after weighing all this, 50 pounds of potatoes. Um, that's pretty good. It's probably on the lower side for as many plants as we had. We had 29 potato plants, um, almost 28. One of them was really small, but it still did okay. Um, but 29 potato plants out there. So if we had done things a little differently, I think we would have gotten a larger harvest than this, but we are still really pleased. Um, when I first was digging them up, like one of the first ones was like this big and I thought, oh no, that's how they're all gonna be. But there are some really big ones in here that um, we're really happy with. In fact, a lot of them are very large and, and good. So this was a Kennebec potato and we're very happy with how it um, produced. And so, yeah, we'll definitely do it again um, in the future. In fact, we're gonna take some that we dug up. We only, out of all of them that we dug up, maybe four or five of them had either been kind of already eaten by bugs or um, one of only one of them was green. So um, we'll take those and we'll let them sprout and we'll replant. Um, so yeah, you know, we are, we're, we feel really blessed. You know, you don't know, potatoes are fun in some ways because you really don't know what you're gonna get. So you might dig it up. And the unfun part is you could only get tiny ones, um, which are still delicious, but not what you're looking for. And um, the other fun part is when you dig them up and you see huge potatoes just sitting pretty much on top of the dirt. And that's what happened with some of our plants. And that was really exciting and just makes you feel like really blessed and just really happy. Um, these are such an easy crop to grow because you really do just stick them in the ground and you can pretty much leave them, you know, pile them a little bit, but they're, they're not too bad to grow, um, especially if you have kind of the right methods. We will definitely change how we did this for next year, 
But you know what? This was our first year doing it. And so for our short, first shot, we feel like we were really blessed with it. So we're really happy. Uh, so anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. Please share it with your friends or your family. And as always, the best way you can support what we're doing and creating content like this for you is to subscribe to our channel. And that would mean the world to us. So thank you guys so much for tagging along. And until next time, we'll see you soon.